Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. Today I'll be doing some feeding crochet conroe you all. So stick around. First I'll separate the braids and I start with a small piece of braid. And I just go in and crochet it and I'm not going to do no knots nor nothing. And as I go along, I just use larger pieces of hair. And I'll do this until all the conro is covered with the braiding hair. The vibe under the blue skies, but you if you all want to see how I did these two conros, I uploaded a previous video you all showing you how I do it. So go and check it out if you're interested. The best of me and turn it into the worst of me. Mr. Gray Sky. So the other conroe, I'm just doing the same thing that I did to the previous one. It's time to go in and just conroll the hair back. Braiding the hair, you all, I'm doing it very loosely so I can pull the braids and make it a little messy. If the hair is braided too tightly, it is going to give me a little problem to pull it apart and give me that messy look that I'm going for. This is definitely an optional step you want you don't have to go in and do the messy look so if you're doing this and you want to just go in and corner the hair back do it as tightly as you want or as loosely as you want that is also an option for you go you took something from me Forgot my word, you had too much power over me. I can't, I can't let this go. So I gotta move. Now that I reach the end of the braid, I'm gonna go in and just plait the regular plait you are. And I'll take a little piece of hair from the braid and just knot it right here. The heart to move on. Moving on to the other braid, I'll be doing the same thing I did, I did to the other one. And guys, when you're braiding, you gotta make sure you separate the braid or the hair is going to get tangled so you're going to have problem breathing the hair back because of all that tangling Now 
Now I'm going in with the flexi rod to just wrap the hands of the braid around you all to get me some nice curls. Guess we're underrated. The haters keep on hating. We're ready for this. Oh. Now it's time to immerse the hair in some hot water. And here you have the finished look you all. Let me know what you all think of this feeding crochet conroe braid. And as I stated before you all, the option is yours if you don't want to go for a messy look. If you want to have your conroe nice and tight, that is cool you all. And oh also the curls at the hand you could just go in and just add the hair to some hot water and you get a nice straight look so thank you all for watching guys as always i do 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 appreciate you all until next time bye guys Always. Oh,